everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be participating in the Seven Kids Crafts. Um, it's, it's well, it's a hashtag hop. Hashtag Seven Kids Crafts Summer Love, and you put that in your um, YouTube search bar, and you will find all the videos participating today or all the channels. I'm using this brand new stamp set by Seven Kids Crafts. It's called Make Waves. Um, and they just started releasing their own stamp sets last month, I believe. There was some really cute kind of kitten-themed stamps. Um, this time it's this super adorable mermaid set. It's got a couple of mermaids on it, an octopus, a fish, shell, a starfish, and two sentiments. One says, make waves. The other one says, live like a mermaid, seize the day. So, while I was chatting, we started playing with some alcohol inks. These are brand new to me. This um, background was made during the second session I have ever had with alcohol inks. And what I wanted was a really cool underwater background. Um, I think I achieved it, but you'll have to tell me. I'm still just absolutely mesmerized by this stuff. And I am working on a glass mat, so I was able to just wipe everything up. So after I kind of sleep lit it all around I let it dry which does not take very long and then I kind of was looking at to see what I wanted to do with it and I took a stylus and some of the blending solution and I added some bubbles I was we were just experimenting here this worked out so cool I I love to color with my Copics so this solution kind of reminds me of colorless blender it pushes the color away and um, I used the stylus so that I had a lot more control over where I put these little dots. And um, I just put them everywhere because I thought, well, it's the background. Backgrounds are cool. And then I got this alcohol lipped ink and I was showing you that it's really nice to open. It's got like these handles. I wish all the ink pads were like that because it just really opens really nice. So then I was like, well, let's let's play with this alcohol lift ink and let's see if this works. So I had a piece of cardstock there and I stamped my little foliage from the set down onto my alcohol ink background and then I stamped it off onto the piece of cardstock. I have seen people stamp it off and then like make something with it. We were just experimenting. I, I was not making anything. So I stamped it a bunch of times and then I patted off, patted, pat off all the extra ink. And then I rubbed it with my little microfiber cloth. And then I was like, well, I want some rays to come from the sky or like through the water. So I used this Miss Ink Stamp or Miss Ink Stamps stencil. I love this stencil. And I just used a foam little brush and I kind of patted it through the stencil. I am in love with how that looks. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then I was like, oh, it's gorgeous. So then I had stamped my mermaid. I had done some masking and stamped the mermaids down and then masked the one mermaid and like stamped the foliage around her so that you kind of had a little scene there. And I'm going to leave the coloring in. I love coloring, so I am going to leave it in, which is why this video is a little bit longer. Um, I will leave a timestamp in the description box so you can um, hop past the coloring if that is not what you want it should be a clickable link and it should take you right to that spot in the video now for the hair I um I left this in particularly because I want to show you that when I first colored it it was cute it was pink hair it was adorable um it did what it needed to do and then I brought in like a little bit of a darker pink because I wanted some more contrast here um, I wanted to see the highs and the lows and I really wanted that pink highlight to really show up but it just wasn't enough <laughs> I mean I you know colored it through and you'll, you'll be able to see it here and then I will bring in an even darker marker because I really wanted the deep deep colors uh, I did play with skin tones in this one too so my mermaids are not the same skin tone which I kind of appreciate uh, I almost colored one of them green because I thought it would be kind of kind of fun to have a green mermaid but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm adding some more um, shadows to her hair. Uh, it is starting to look really deep and rich and I do like that about adding the darker tones. So for the other mermaid I decided well if one has pink hair the other one could possibly have purple hair. 
and I couldn't just, you know, pull out a violet combination. I had to try something different again. So I used the BBs. I went to BB uh, 4 to, you know, uh, I mapped in my darkest. This girl's hair was hard for me. <laughs> I just, it, I don't know, it's all swooped over to the side, and it was hard for me to color. Um, but I did BV04 and then my BV08 was my darkest and then I brought in this fluorescent violet here to just brighten everything up and I thought it was super pretty and I now want purple hair because I think it would be fun. I mean I'll never do it but I thought it would be fun. <laughs> so seven kids crafts. I am not sure about the whole story behind everything but I know that if I shop there which I have been known to do. Um, if I pay with my PayPal, it goes to Seven Kids College Fund. So I would guess the owners, whoever they are, Kelly, <laughs> probably has seven kids and she's probably trying to put them through college. So it's great to support a small business like this because whatever she's doing with the money, you know, it's supporting her family. It's very different than supporting a large corporation. Um, I absolutely love small companies and um, I, if you've been around my channel anytime or for any length of time, you know that I'm on the Not Too Shabby Design Team. I'm also on the Joy Claire Design Team. Very small companies. Um, if I buy from them, I know that their family is getting groceries and milk. And I know that I am supporting their hopes and dreams. And I feel like sometimes um, it's worth a little bit of extra. If it costs a little bit of extra to buy from somebody that is buying their kids milk and not a... Maserati. Anyway, back to the stamps. They're absolutely adorable. They're great quality. Um, I don't know where she has them made, but they are absolutely adorable. I have yet to have an image that is that does not stamp very well. Um, they are out of, let's see, Seven Kids Crafts is out of Rapid City, South Dakota, and it says right on their packaging that they are made in the USA. I do like the back of the um, packaging because it gives you like tips on how to use them. So if you're giving a stamp set and some ink and a block to maybe somebody that's just learning how to stamp, this is really good because it has kind of the directions and the how-tos on how to use them. Um, it says here, gently peel your stamps from the backing and use an acrylic block or stamping platform. And we all know that, but um, we've all been doing this a while. So I appreciate that she puts that on there. Um, she does say to clean the stamp with a mount cleaner to keep them clingy so you know how you get a, a stamp that sometimes gets a little bit dirty and doesn't want to stick to your block or your stamping platform just scrub it in your well, not scrub it just wash it gently in your sink with soap and water and it'll get all sticky again for you um, it says to store in the backing sheets I always do I know some people don't they store them in different you know um, CD cases things like that as long as you're sticking them to something, they'll be fine. It says use, they are suitable for use with a variety of inks, including dye, archival, and hybrid inks. Um, I do know that these stamps sometimes don't play well with um, stays on ink, so make sure that you clean them well. I know that you should be careful with stays on cleaner with these clear stamps. Um, just a personal <laughs> um, note be, be very careful with stays on cleaner on these, but. Um, Everything that I've stamped them with seems to be fine. Most of the time that I've used their stamps, I've used them with Ink on 3 Blackout Ink or Ink on 3's um, Fade Out Ink. I really like them. Um, I also have used them with a few of the Lawn Pond inks and some archival inks and have never had, a tr had trouble. So here it says, we hope our range of supplies will inspire you and become an essential part of your crafting. Happy stamping. And she signs, well, she signs. Her name is on here, Kelly. So Kelly, you've done a great job. I love your packaging. I love your stamps. The one thing I did not point out, the one thing I did not use was the little extras in here. Um, there's a little fish and an octopus and a seashell and a starfish. Now the little starfish has little eyes on it. It's so cute. Um, I absolutely think it's so so adorable. The little fish is super adorable. Uh, my one-year-old, when she sees it, she says blub blub because she knows that's what a fish is. That's, that's what a fish says is blub blub. And then the little octopus is giving the cutest little look. The eyes on these critters and on these mermaids and even on the cats from the last stem sets, they are so beautiful. They are super easy to color. They're so 
um, whimsical and they have lots of emotion behind them, you can definitely make these look um, how you want. So for um, this mermaid that is kind of sitting down here, I decided I was going to give her a blue tail. Um, so I, I just picked out a blue combination that was a nice, deep, rich, kind of bright blue. Did that make any sense? It's got deep tones to it, but it's rich and bright. I wanted it to really go with the alcohol ink background that I created, um, which I did have it off to kind of the side while I was coloring so I could see what was going on. Made sure I left a really pretty highlight in the middle here. Uh, so she just looked like, I don't know, colored well, I think. For her eyes, for both of their eyes, I thought that they would be fun to have like this golden tone because I think that that it's pretty and I thought it would look really nice with the or the purple and the pink hair. So I did them the same and then I also colored her little starfish in her hair uh, the same way. I just thought it would be a really pretty way to add another pop of color. For this other mermaid, I'm going to do a little bit different with her tail, so I decided I better color her top, and I used the pinks that I did for the other mermaid's um, hair. Then I stamped um, and embossed this mermaid here on a piece of this Tim Holtz paper. It is the, let me grab it here so I can get the exact name. It is the Metallic Confections, and I have been in the experimentation mode, and I decided I was going to kind of Copic shade it, but it didn't work out so well, so then I decided I was going to use my alcohol inks, and I was going to color it that way, because you get that depth from the glossy cardstock underneath, and I could heat emboss it. I cannot heat emboss on the Yubo paper, but I can on this other paper. And then uh, before it was all the way dry, I took my microfiber cloth and I kind of dabbed at the alcohol ink and just added a little bit of texture to it. Uh, it is so pretty and there is so much depth to the tail on the mermaid. I was actually kind of disappointed that I colored the one, um, but it does add just something fun and different. So then I trimmed everything out and I decided I was going to paper piece this on. I did leave a little white border around my little girls because um, I had made that scene with the foliage and the, the one that's sitting down. So here I pieced on her tail and it's super shimmery and shiny. It has so much depth. It's a different kind of depth than, than what's in the background even. So here, this is how it's going to kind of look, um, my piece of U-Pour there. And then I used, it's the first time I ever used this, <laughs> heat-resistant acetate. And um, in my first video with the U-Pour paper, I had asked some questions if I could heat emboss on it, and I was told, no, you cannot. So I had to find another solution because I wanted to heat emboss a sentiment here. And I just had trimmed out a piece of the acetate, and I left the backer on so it was easier to see. Uh, and I... Just stamp the Live Like a Mermaid Sees the Day, and I did um, fussy cut it out, and now I'm going to glue everything down. I did uh, trim out my piece of Yubo paper with a die um, just to kind of square up my scene there. I love the background. I think it turned out so pretty. I am curious. Um, do you like alcohol inks? I am super new to them. Like I said, this is the second time I have really tried them. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to pair with this set, and I really wanted to just play around. I have been in this experimentation mode for the last couple of weeks. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and then I thought that um, I wanted this sentiment to kind of float in the rays from the sun coming through the top of the water. I thought that would be really pretty. I could just see them kind of like chatting at the bottom of the ocean, like, hey, hey, girl. Hey, what you doing? Oh, just hanging out in the seaweed, you know? <laughs> Uh, so then I used my glossy accents and I added just a little bit of uh, dots in the water to make some more bubbles. Added this Spectrum Noir shimmer pen over the mermaid's tail, the one that I colored, and the top from the other one. I'm going to add a little bit of white gel pen detail. So um, as I was saying, this is a hashtag driven hop. I know those are kind of new to YouTube. I've been doing them for a little while, um, but you just put in the search bar and I'll have it as a clickable link in my title too, where you just click on it. And it's hashtag seven kids crafts, summer loving, or summer loving, sorry. And you just click on that and it'll pull up all of the other content creators that played with this stamp set today. Uh, and then I will have Kelly's shop, seven kids crafts link below. And I would love for you to stop by her shop and leave her a little bit of love. She is doing 
um, big things. When you start making your own stamps, that's big. It's huge, and, and she deserves uh, my respect, your respect. And these are just absolutely adorable. I can't get over how cute they are. Uh, so for the inside, oh, you know, we've been finishing the insides lately. Well, since the first of the year. So we are like halfway through the year and I have finished all the insides of my cards. Yay! Um, but I just stamped that little mermaid in a, a little bit of that seaweed with some navy blue ink. I thought that was perfect. Um, this is kind of an encouraging card, so I wanted to leave lots of space for an encouraging message to the recipient. So that is my card for today. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. If you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you could and click that bell. And I will absolutely chat with you in the comments. And um, definitely check out uh, Kelly's store and let me know what you think. And as I always say here on my channel, thank you for stopping by and give cards generously. Bye!